iPhone SE 3 settings you need to turn on now. Let's start with 5G. Open up settings, tap on cellular, and then tap cellular data options. First switch here, data roaming, let's turn that switch on. Depending on your carrier, this, this really is one to be careful of, but turn it on if you have like Verizon or AT&T in the US where you don't have any more roaming charges. There are carriers that still take roaming into account. Most don't in the US anyway, check with your carrier. But if your carrier does allow data roaming, mm -hmm. then definitely turn this on because it's gonna widen the pool of available cell towers to your phone and increase your battery life, bar none. Next, tap on voice and data right below that switch. 5G auto, 5G on, LTE. By default, it's set to 5G auto, but if you don't have good 5G in your area, we recommend switching to LTE. Even if you have good 5G at home, if you find yourself listening to Apple Music or Spotify in the car, driving places, and then all of a sudden it stops, come back here, take this note mentally down that I'm telling you right now, and just change it to LTE. Just because it says 5G doesn't mean it's faster than LTE. Next up, we're going to battery. Tap back, upper left-hand corner of the screen, tap back to cellular, and tap back to the main page of settings. Scroll down and tap on battery. So we're here at the top, battery percentage. Turn that switch on. One of the only things that makes this phone better than the other phones, maybe according to some people, mm -hmm. is that there's a battery percentage on the screen all the time. Yeah. Can you do that with an iPhone 13 Pro Max? No, you gotta open up the control center and one extra swipe. No, sir. Bit more important for your iPhone, tap on battery health and turn on optimized battery charging. It's smart about the way it charges. It yeah. charges it slower so that it maintains maximum capacity for longer. Yep, turn that switch on. We put out a lot of battery tips videos, including one Whoa. specifically for the iPhone SE3. If you don't wanna miss those, subscribe to this channel, click that big red subscribe button below this video. Next, let's talk about Wi-Fi calling. We're gonna tap back to the main page of settings. We're gonna scroll down and tap on phone, and then tap on Wi-Fi calling, turn that switch on. Wi-Fi calling is an awesome feature. People used to have to get repeaters from their cellular carriers if they didn't have good service at home. Now your iPhone can use your Wi-Fi connection at home or abroad to make phone calls, which is amazing, especially if you're overseas. Yeah. We'll tap enable to turn that on. If this feature wasn't there on your iPhone, it's because it's not included with your cell phone plan, contact your carrier about that, or you might just need to switch plans, unfortunately. Next up, we are going to the privacy section of settings. Tap back, upper left-hand corner of the screen, scroll up. One below battery is privacy. Tap on that, tap location services, and then scroll down, tap on system services, scroll down again, status bar icon, kind of buried here at the very bottom of the screen, but it is one that we recommend turning on. When status bar icon is on, you will see a location icon in the status bar when your iPhone is accessing your location. Let's try to demo that real quick. Let's turn some of these switches on. There we go. There it is, right next to the battery percentage. I keep a lookout for that, and if it's on all the time, it could be indicative of some sort of a problem with your phone and maybe a battery issue. You may have noticed that a lot of these switches were turned off. Check out our iPhone SE3 settings to turn off now video, card above, and in the section below the subscribe button to learn why we've turned off those switches. Next up, we're going on a Safari to the Safari section of the settings app. So we're gonna tap back upper left-hand corner of the screen until we get back to the main page of settings. Scroll down. These are original jokes, by the way. Yes. Tap on a Safari, then scroll down to close tabs. Tap on that. Right now it's set to manually. If you are a tab hoarder and you leave tabs open all the time and you never close them, this might be useful for you because when you have a ton of tabs, like hundreds of tabs like I've had before, that can really slow down your iPhone. So I usually choose after one month. If I'm not going back to a web page after a month, I'm just, I'm never gonna get to it. Next up, tap back, upper left-hand corner of the screen. Scroll down here, prevent cross-site tracking. Make sure that switch is on. If this switch is off, it means that websites can track you as you go from one website to the next and to the next. And the truth is that even with the switch on, some of them can still do it, but this is at least gonna cut down on some of their ability to see exactly what you're doing online. Next, let's step back to the main page of settings, scroll down and tap on camera. Preserve settings, tap on that. We're talking about a few different things here. First is camera mode, turn that switch on. It's kind of frustrating when you're taking a bunch of videos and then Every time you close the camera app and go back in, it resets the photo. If you leave camera mode, preserve settings on, it'll stay on whatever that last camera setting was. Mm -hmm. That's just kind of a 
a cool thing. Convenience tip. Also, live photo. Leave it on. Leave it on. Videos like this take a lot of work, a lot of time going through all the settings. You could really support this channel by becoming a member. We do member shout outs, access to Discord. Let's shout somebody out right now. Shout somebody out. Mike Wheeler. He's a member. He's a member. Thanks, Mike. Hi, Mike. David O'Brien just became the second Super David. Along with Larry Nicholson. Larry Nicholson, yeah. So, a lot of great stuff. Also, custom badges and emojis. Also, Mrs. C. Coldwater. Yeah. She's great. Love it. Jim, so, Jim B. To learn more about our membership program, click that big join button below this video. You can't miss it. It's right next to subscribe, so you don't want to join. Subscribing would be super helpful, too. That would be. Thanks. Thanks for watching.